Hey everyone, in this video, we will understand what are the characteristics of algorithm or the properties of algorithm or what are the various properties of good algorithm. So let's understand. So in the previous video, we have already seen what is algorithm. So we understood that algorithm is actually a approach or a logic, okay, to solve a particular computational problem, right? Okay, we can just have a problem like add two numbers. So we have to write the various steps which can actually solve this problem of adding two numbers. We have a problem like finding the factorial of a number. So we have to write the logic or the steps on the piece of paper which can actually solve that particular problem of finding the factorial of a number, okay? Now, what are the various characteristics of an algorithm? And we will also see what are the characteristics of good algorithm. So first characteristic is your algorithm should take input. Now, how many input your algorithm should take. So let's say you are given a question that you have to add two numbers and those two numbers are already provided to you. Let's say three and five. So what will be the algorithm to add these two numbers? We will say, I will just add these two numbers directly, three plus five, simple. And I will store the answer in some variable, let's say sum. And then I will say print sum. And you can just write the start and stop if you need, okay? So this is the algorithm. Now, as in this question, we have taken how many out inputs from the user? Zero inputs, right? Now there can be any other problem in which you have to read the numbers from the user. For example, if I am saying add, okay, two numbers, let's say A and B, okay? So A and B are general numbers. That means you are saying write an algorithm in which you should ask from the user, what are the values of A and B? So for this question, this will be the algorithm that is you have to ask the user read value of a and b that is enter the value of a and b then i will add a plus b store the answer inside the sum and then print sum so here we have taken the input from the user okay and how many input we have taken two input the value of a and value of b okay in some question we can take just one input okay let's say the question is enter a number and just print that number okay so let's say we enter that number and then we just print that number so we can take one input also okay so if i ask you how many input a algorithm should take from the user so you can say a algorithm should take zero input or one input or more than one inputs now the next property of the algorithm is your algorithm should generate the output but how many output your algorithm should generate so actually if our algorithm is not generating any output then that algorithm is of no use basically why we are writing the algorithm for a given question question means you are given a question and you should give me the answer you should give me the uh, some output okay so obviously there should be at least one output of a given algorithm after that particular logic you should generate at least one output okay and there can be many outputs also okay for example in this question you are asked that okay read the value of a and b and then print this sum also you print the subtraction also you print the multiplication also okay of a and b okay then you have to find the subtraction okay you have to find the multiplication okay that means now there are one two three three outputs of this question okay so basically your algorithm should produce one or more outputs okay it cannot produce zero output if you if it is producing zero output then that means that is not a uh, correct algorithm basically now the next property is definiteness or unambiguous or unambiguity what does it mean the algorithm should not have any statement which has more than one meaning you know that ambiguity means something which has dual meaning or more than one meaning okay the meaning of something is not clear then we will say do not uh, tell me any uh, ambiguous thing okay unambiguous means there is no ambiguity there is only one meaning of a particular statement okay now let's say you are writing an algorithm for a question okay and in between the algorithm lines you are having this line you have written this line okay as an algorithm designer now when the programmer will implement okay or uh, he will see this algorithm and he will try to implement this line then he is not having any clear meaning of this particular operator or the symbol okay this can be like plus he can assume this can be like minus or it can be like anything okay that means this symbol can give me more than one meaning okay i am unclear that what does this symbol mean okay so this actually is a ambiguous statement okay i can't say that what is the meaning of this statement okay 
So in a good algorithm, there should not be any statement which contains ambiguous statement, okay, which has more than one meaning, okay, because when we are writing the program, okay, we have to write the concrete statement, okay, because, you know, in programming language, this is not a valid, uh, you can say symbol or the operator, but in the program, we have to write the everything clear, okay, machine has to uh, understand everything in a clear manner, okay, now I can give you a simpler example also here for the unambiguity, so let's say you have a problem, problem is that you are a student and you are unclear that where will be the today's class of the uh, this algorithm course okay and you come to a teacher and you say sir that we are not sure that where will be the class today okay because the rooms are occupied and we do not know where will be the class so your sir says okay uh, let's see okay he just say let's see okay and he didn't give you any uh, particular answer okay that yes uh, now today's class will be postponed or today's class will be in that particular room or something like that okay he didn't give you any clear answer he gave you a algorithm or he gave you a solution in which you are not actually sure that what is the meaning of a particular statement that is let's see okay so this let's see is you can say it is a ambiguous statement you can uh, like interpret this uh, for example, one student can say, okay, let's see means, sir has said, okay, there will be no class today. Let's see means, okay, just come after one hour, then sir will give the answer. Okay, one, another student can interpret this statement as like, okay, uh, like let's see means that uh, today there will be class after you can say 5 p.m. Okay, so this one line can have many meaning. Okay, so this is basically a ambiguous line. Okay, so your sir has not given you a correct approach a correct solution right now the fourth property of algorithm is finiteness that means your algorithm should stop after finite number of steps so if you have written an algorithm okay for a question and your algorithm is not generating any output basically it is like repeating some number of lines again and again but it is not generating any output then that algorithm will not be a good algorithm so basically your algorithm should generate your output after finite number of steps let's say after thousand steps okay after let's say thousand unit of time your algorithm should stop and it should generate an output okay after finite number of steps or finite amount of time let's say if your algorithm has some line okay let's say one two then third line is repeat some particular statement okay but you have not mentioned that how many times this statement should be repeated then this algorithm if it will be implemented by the programmer, then that program will actually go into a particular loop because this statement is some uh, somewhat similar to like repeat this statement in finite number of time. Okay, so that algorithm will not be treated as a good algorithm basically. Okay, so your algorithm should be something like for i equal to let's say 0 to n. Okay, repeat this step let's say n number of times something like that. Then this algorithm is like stopping after n number of times. Okay, then that is better. Last property is effectiveness. It means your algorithm should do the intended task, okay? That means if your question is asking to uh, search a particular number into an array, then your algorithm should generate that output. Output should be whether your number is present in the array or not, okay? Or your output can be like the index of that particular number where it is present in the array, okay? So it should do that effective task, okay? Whatever is asked in the promise statement, your algorithm should do that particular intended task. If your algorithm is not performing that particular desired task, which the problem statement is saying, then that algorithm will not be a good algorithm, okay? So these are the five properties or the characteristic of algorithm or the good algorithm, okay? I hope you have understood. So if you have any question, please write down into the comment box and do share your feedback in the comment section of this video. Do like and share this video also and subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for further notification. So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.